All right, where do I look? Here? Here? Here. All right, let's do this. I'm Dale Sood and I'm a Toronto-based cinematographer and director. I have been a super big fan of Fujifilm cameras for a long time and thus I was really excited when they approached me about working with the brand new X-H2S. I would say that I typically do a lot of commercial work and a lot of fashion, but they asked if I could do something with adventure sports and I raced a bit of motocross as a kid and I thought, well, hey, you know, that might be something cool to shoot as a way to see what this new camera is capable of. The format I chose was sort of a bit of a quasi-documentary format as I knew that I'd have to turn this project around like, you know, quite quickly and without my usual commercial resources. And which I think is such a really great example of the kind of work users of mirrorless cameras actually do. The subject I chose for my short is 13-year-old Ben Cogmani, who has been racing since an incredibly young age and has had really an immense amount of success already internationally. For this production, we spent two days filming with Ben and his family, and the camera really did a lot of work over those two days. Like, we built car rigs, a snowy cam rig, we also used it a lot handheld and on a slider. And again, this is the strength of a mirrorless hybrid system. It's the ability to move quickly from one operating style to another, or really even switch to taking photos, you know, during the shoot. I gotta say that this production was an immense challenge because we really didn't have a lot of time to shoot, and spring weather in Ontario is dubious at best. For example, we showed up to our track day to a snowstorm and a half-flooded track. Besides trying to tell a unique and interesting story, my goal was really just to exploit the features of the X2HS, and that meant that I was going to be filming some scenes in 6.2K, a lot of off-speed shots like 60 and 120 frames per second, and a bit of ProRes RAW, and really just seeing how much the autofocus had improved. I'd say one of the most exciting things about the new X-H2S is the addition of the F-Log2 profile. It's got an extended dynamic range over regular F-Log and I'd see about three extra stops in the highlights and that really helped us rein in the light in these continually changing lighting conditions that we experienced and provided really a lot of extra information for us in the color grade and that helped us to get the very, very best out of the image. This is a dock format and as such, you're often moving very quickly with often minimal lighting. Uh, the garage, for example, was quite dark, but by pushing this camera to like 5,000 ISO or sometimes even higher, it actually produced surprisingly excellent results. On the track, the super fast sensor readout speed really meant that I could handhold the camera without any rolling shutter artifacts, giving a much more true to life cinematic camera experience. Working quickly and with a small team meant that unfortunately I had to forego using a focus puller. And honestly, I think they'd have a pretty hard time following the action anyways. So the new autofocus tech really had to step in and it was outstanding. It was as good as anything I've seen from any of the other leading brands. It would lock on really well and really quickly, even when using something like the brand new 150 to 600 zoom lens, which both the lens and the camera exceeded my expectations. I'd say for me, durability and functionality are always among the most important things I look for in a camera, whether it's for photo or video. And for like high speed recording takes, okay, you may want to employ the add-on fan, but I can tell you that the day that we shot the track, we never used a fan on any of our two bodies and the cameras never even felt warm to the touch. The cameras have an excellent heat management system as well as being dust and water resistant. And I would have really no concerns about taking this camera out on remote or demanding jobs. Final thoughts? Well, I'd say that Fujifilm has really delivered what I think is the best value camera on the market. It is lightning fast for both photographers and filmmakers alike. How's that? We good? All right.